Super Spears Brothers. Let's start with. There's no limit, no limit to speed. Um, look, we're running, we're, we're, we are running this program on an emulator. Because I have a Commodore 64, we, actually, I had one. We don't know what happened to it. it uh, no, just, I sold it, but but then I think we really somehow ended up getting it back, but then it disappeared after a while. We moved multiple times. But if you really expect me to set up an actual Commodore 64 to play all Commodore 64 games, you are expecting a lot. This is the um, current loading screen at running at 1,244% speed, so you can see how long it took to load Commodore 64 <laughs> games back in the day. Uh, well, uh, it was recorded on tapes. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's change that, let's change, <laughs> let's change that back to 100, 100 speed. Okay, this music from this game is awesome. I'm gonna turn down a bit, though. This is one of my favorite game tunes of all time. In fact, I recently filmed a juggling sequence that may, we may put that out after we put this episode out. That makes sense. Um, it's a classic Rob Hubbard, and I thought it was written by Rob, Hu Rob Hubbard, but it was actually well, originally... Uh, well, you know, Blake, you gotta go fast. <laughs> Very fast. That's right. We looked it up a while ago, and it turns out it was written... Actually, this is a cover of a Larry Fast song from Synergy. I listened to it. Um, it's similar. I do like this version better. It's got that kind of like... That, that crunch. That crunchy, just sort of like darkness. So a wizard wants you to get a magic amulet, and he tells you to stay away from the... Okay. Good graphics, right? Yeah. You should actually see the actual graphics. Okay, now I remember. Oh, that's kind of cool. The viewpoint thing. Wait, what's going on? I'm moving, but I don't want to move. Oh, this appears to be... Oh, this is the... This... Are you using the controller? Oh, I know. Yeah, sorry. I gotta set my controller. It was playing automatically. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, you're, doing, you're really good at this game, Blake. No, there was nothing to do there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna I remember playing this one as a kid, and like always just dying. And I think I'm smarter now, because I had a look at it. So, you have to find the Amulet of Immortality and place it on the pedestal. This is the pedestal right there. Okay. So, and you can't, if you run into the Minotaur, the Minotaur will just kill you. Okay. So there's, there's kind of nice graphics at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. But, admittedly, the rest of the thing... Oh. Scroll. I want to put down the scroll. Sorry, I want to actually read the scroll and examine it. You find a protection. protection for your hearth. Guard the potions for your staff. Go up and each to find your treasure. Beware of the Minotaur. Or be his oh wow be his pleasure oh, oh god I didn't know that was happening <laughs> okay if I t if I turn to my left death will attack me oh but I'm gonna t take it anyway yeah why not Commodore 64 games are terrifying <laughs> alright should I attack the hellhound <laughs> or the skeleton the or the bat I shouldn't think I should run actually because I want to get a little further away uh oh hey you have a bunch of spells yeah. Good thing he's, these skeletons suck. Okay. Oh, the hellhound attack. With okay. His teeth. I I gotta kill the skeleton first. It's got a dagger, and then I'm gonna kill the other thing. I like I do like the graphics though of the enemies. There's a lot of missing in this game. Yeah. Uh, the enemies just miss and miss and miss. They didn't really work out like how to give you like enough hit points that it made the uh, process anything but, but tedious. Yeah. But luckily, it goes through it pretty quickly. I love this music though. Mm -hmm. Like I could just play this game just for the music and ignore what I'm actually doing entirely. See, this is a lot like what. Okay, now look, now I'm gonna pick up Dead. the dagger. Now I can attack with the dagger. And the bat's gonna be dead in one kit. You now, killed it. And then, then I'm gonna attack the hellhound. Oh, he hit. Folks, this is the walkthrough of this game. Oh shit, he's owning me. Oh, How can you tell where your health is? It's at the, 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 the very top, it's the, it's the B is my health. Okay. M is my magic. Okay. Now I'm gonna uncast my spell. I wasn't able to figure this out when I was a kid. It just was beyond my, like, intellectual level to understand how to make all this happen. Like, like, like I went over there and they would just own me. They would just kill me. So I would never go over there because I realized over there death, death lies. But now I've, I've played this a couple times since and I have a better sense of where to go. I've never beaten the game though. And I kind of suspect that's unlikely. Okay. Oh, it's a spider. That's right. And, no. oh, okay, kill the staircase. You okay. missed. Oh, you missed? The spiders are hard to hit. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, I'm, gonna cast, ugly. I'm gonna cast magic, uh, magic missile. Magic missile on the orc. Yeah, it's totally wrong. You killed the spider! See, the thing about magic missiles is it's never supposed to miss, so... 
That's why I use it on the on the, on the spider. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's why I was thinking. Uh, magical shield again. Oh, they walk attack you three times. Oh my god. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. But See, l luckily, I've got a dagger. This constant missing thing is why a lot of the reason why D and D battles I find very tedious because a lot of them requires okay, you have 300 AC. The enemy has 300 AC. I sit here for three hours. Yeah. But it, but it's fun when, when this music's playing. Now look yep. look I've got armor. Oh nice. Actually I could probably I should probably kill the bat. I could probably kill it in one hit. Yeah. This game's actually like basically an adventure game with a little bit of RPG stuff. Yeah, we wear the armor. Because basically you have to you you basically kill stuff in this order in order to get the stuff you do you need later. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? When I first played this game, I certainly did not do it in this order. Mm -hmm. Now my magic is low. Oh shit, that's why. Oh, I have to uncast my spell. Oh okay. Oh, because it keeps continually draining? Yeah, it does. That makes sense. I'm not sure if there's a way to recharge your magic or not. I've never really discovered that. Oh, a bat's over there. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. If I, my memory serves. If my memory serves me well. Okay, Don't that, be a slave to your past. That, like. that room there is where you run away from the orc and you get stuck in that room and then just die. <laughs> okay. Is that, is that actually in the walkthrough? No. Go into the room of the right, and then you shall hide there and cower until your demise. Okay, now I think if I attack this guy, I can get a, a, a better weapon. So I'm gonna do. Oh, I, it's not close enough to hit. Okay, that's fair enough. This is an action RPG, guys. Yeah. It's both turn based and action based. It's actually. This is basically Secret of Mana. That's right. Hey guys, we're playing Secret of Mana. Secret the, of Mana 2. For the, for the N64. You okay. know there was multiple Secret of Mana games. Uh, yeah, there was. Uh, I played Secret of Mana 3, it was in Japanese, so I didn't understand it at all, but from what I saw, it was really cool. So you don't need to equip the mace, because by picking it up, you only have two hands, so you can only pick up, um, like, one thing at a time, essentially. Yeah. So, see, so this is better than I've ever done <laughs> right now. Uh, but the, apparently you can beat this game in five minutes if you know the right way to do it. Which we don't. Which which we don't. I certainly, certainly don't. Okay, what's down here? We should be drawing this map technically if we're going to play this right, aren't we? Uh, yeah, but it's not that hard to find your way around in this game, actually. It's more, it's easier just to die than it is. Enough. Okay, I'm going to attack. The bat. stopped. Yeah, well, it'll start restart in a minute. Okay. Or maybe it's expected you wouldn't be alive this long. What do you mean you're not dead? Oh, is that just a... I it's a staircase, just... but, it, uh, but it also functions... Okay, if I remember correctly, beyond this door is just death. So, is that why you so, opened it? Yeah, but so, well, you have to keep going through doors, because there's... I have to get some potions to heal myself. Oh, okay. that's right. You need to get the potion to increase your magic. Okay, now if I find the Minotaur, by the way, the game is over. Yeah. Um, alright. I'm a dot! Hey, this is what games were back in that day. This would... is... Honestly, I keep... Considering the other games that were at the time, the Commodore 64 was really quite amazing. Yeah, the, the Spectrum ZX was nice, except their color scheme was really odd. Yeah. Um, but, like, the like Atari was I don't know where I'm going, by the way. Oh, a ring. What's this? I guess Nintendo was just a couple years after this. What's this? What's this ring? I don't know. Examine, Exam it? examine the ring. Protection from evil. Okay, I will wear the ring. Wear the ring. Okay, is this when Nazgul will come after you? There is. There are vampires in this game. Um, oh, deal. They owned me last time I played this game. You um, have a lot of problems with slavery. <laughs> yes. I'm I, I'm anti-slavery, but I often my comments suggest that. Okay. Whoa, earthquake! No, I just can't get through the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that scared the crap out of me, man. <laughs> All right, there's now, something about now one Commodore of the, 64 games that are just scary. One of these doors leads. To, oh, there's too many exits. Yeah, really this is when this is in the games when I start to just get really panicky. If I knew my way around, I could actually find my way to the treasure really quickly. As soon as I see, if you see a minotaur, tell me to run for it, because the minotaur will just kill me right away. Uh, is that the minotaur? No, it's the old. Nope. Okay. Oh, this room. That's right. I remember this room. This is the room where I always used to die as a kid, but... Okay. You got this, man. You got this. You're protected from evil. That's right. So I'm just going to try attacking the... skeleton? Yeah, sure. Did I miss? I probably missed. Uh, I think you hit, but you didn't kill it. Because of the way games work, I always associate maces with just missing enemies constantly. Oh shit. Why? Is this, are, do, 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 are maces bad for accuracy? In a lot of games, like especially the old uh, games that tried to be D&D. &D. Yeah. Whoa, there's a shield. Nice. Uh, I should pick it up. 
Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay. Now attack the goddamn doggy. Uh, the orc. The orc's stronger. Okay. <laughs> this is much more entertaining than I thought it would be. Well, you killed I, it. I, I do like the graphics in this game. Yeah. Oh, he had a dagger. Nice. I've never beaten this hellhound. To my knowledge, I've never gotten past the room I'm currently at. Well, you just beat the record. What's the ring? Take a look at the ring. Oh, no, it's, I was wearing it. No, there's another ring down there. Look, you dropped one. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Examine. Ring of you, you die instantly. Yeah. Let's see. That's the, there's another ring. That's the one I was wearing. Yeah. Okay. Let's ring see. skeleton. Better. Ring of dexterity. I guess that makes you dodge better? Uh, yeah. I don't know what protection of evil does, though. It probably protects from the vampires and stuff. Oh, like probably, that. you probably want to keep that then? Just to. I don't know! What if I, what if I well, pick. Can you, can you. Yeah. Oh, no, for hand. Okay, uh, I'll put down. This is an extremely boring part of the game. You're just picking up and putting things down. Pick There's up. like every RPG. Ring. Uh, can I wear the ring? Can I wear can two rings? Go? Okay. Yeah, alright, so. Now, check out, can you see what you have equipped? Yeah, you have both rings equipped. Okay. Cool. So, pick up the shield again? Yep, pick up the shield. Do you need to wield like a dagger and a mace? Do you have the shield equipped? I think it's automatically equipped by me holding it, because I only have two hands. Sense. Oh, it's a hellhound. I thought it was a scorpion. I was like, goddamn scorpions! <laughs> I don't need any in my mouth. That's right. They're such a terrible band. Yeah, that episode's gone over. Okay, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it got up. by this point it will have gone up like a year ago. <laughs> this is not going for a long time. If at all. What? what do we what, Do we want to do a second episode? We've been running this for a while. Let's just try a second episode. If it fails, we can just add it onto the previous one. Alright, folks. This is the last episode you'll see of this game. Because nobody wants to see a dot moving around on a screen for... Ah! I love you. <laughs>